Ethan is an A. Our caller calling on behalf of the doctor to the insurance company in order to check the claim status. And he spoke to insurance rep Emily. Thanks for calling. This is Emily. How may I help you today? Hi, my name is Ethan. I am calling for doctor's office and I would like to check for claim status for a patient. Which doctor's office you are calling for? I am calling for Super Cardiologist Associates. And what is your telephone number? My telephone number is, is 1-800-999-9999. What is your provider tax ID? The provider tax ID is 123-456-789. What is patient name and date of birth? Patient name is Linda Farr and date of birth is 26-11-1995. Could you please hold for a moment so that I will pull up the patient's records? Yes, please. What is the date of service you checking for? The date of service is 4-2-2022. What is the build amount on this claim? The build amount is $1,500 even. Could you please hold for a moment so that I will search for the claim? Yes, Emily, take your time. Th thanks for being on hold, Ethan. The claim was denied. Okay, may I know the claim received date? The claim was received on 4-15-2022. And what is the denial date? The denial date is 4-22-2022. May I know the reason for the denial? Claim was denied for no authorization on file. Could you please hold for a moment so that we'll search for authorization? Okay. If no authorization found in your system, also hospital claim not received now, what would you do? Thank you so much for holding. I really appreciate your patience. Emily, upon checking, I cannot find any authorization number in my system. Can you please check whether any hospital claim was received on this date of service? Let me find that, Ethan. Okay. Ethan, thanks for holding. I cannot find any hospital claim on this date of service. Okay, can we get a retro authorization in this case? Sorry, Ethan, retro auth is not possible. Okay, Emily, can we send an appeal? Yes, you can. What is the appeal address? Yes, the appeal address is P.O. Box 30552 Salt Lake City, Utah 85130. And what is the timely filing limit for appeal? The TFL for appeal is 365 days from the date of denial. Okay, what is the claim number? The claim number is 98745. And what is the call reference number? The call reference number is 8578. Thank you so much, Emily. You are very helpful to me today and you have a nice day. Thanks, Ethan. It's a pleasure talking to you and you have a good day. Bye. If the place of service used is 23 in authorization denial, now what would you do? Thank you so much for holding. I really appreciate your patience. Emily, upon checking, I found the place of service we have used is 23, which denotes this is an emergency service, so this couldn't be denied as no authorization on file. Could you please check it? Let me check that, Ethan. Okay. Ethan, you are right. The place of service you have used is 23. Since this is an emergency service, I am sending this claim back for reprocess. And please be allow 45 business days for the review. Thank you so much, Emily. And what is the claim number? The claim number is 98745. And what is the call reference number? The call reference number is 8578. Thank you so much, Emily. You are very helpful for me today and you have a nice day. Thanks, Ethan. It's a pleasure talking to you and you have a good day. Bye. If authorization number found in your system, now what would you do? Thank you so much for holding. I really appreciate your patience. Emily, upon checking, I found authorization number in my system. Can I verify that with you? Yes, Ethan. Go ahead. Thank you. And the authorization number is 8765432. Ethan, can I put you on hold to verify it? Yes, Emily. Take your own time. Thank you, Ethan. And thanks for being on hold. I verified and found the authorization number you have given is valid for this date of service.
notes. Emily, could you please send this claim back for reprocess with this authorization number? Okay, let me take a note on it and send this claim back for reprocess. Thank you. Ethan, I have sent it back for reprocess and please allow 45 business days for review. Thank you so much, Emily. And what is the claim number? The claim number is 98745. And what is the call reference number? The call reference number is 8578. Thank you so much, Emily. You are very helpful for me today and you have a nice day. Thanks, Ethan. It's a pleasure talking to you and you have a good day. Bye. If retro authorization is possible, now what would you do? Emily, is retro authorization possible in this case? Yes, Ethan. Retro auth is possible. Okay, Emily. How could we get the retro authorization? Yes, for more details about authorization, please call the authorization department at 1877 845 7892. What is the claim number? The claim number is 98745. And what is the call reference number? The call reference number is 8578. Thank you so much, Emily. You are very helpful for me today and you have a nice day. Thanks, Ethan. It's a pleasure talking to you and you have a good day. Bye. If you found payment for the same CPT code without authorization number in the previous date of service, now what would you do? Thank you so much for holding. I really appreciate your patience. Emily, upon checking, I found the same CPT code was paid previously without any authorization number. Can you please verify that? Yes, Ethan. May I have that previous date of service? Of course, the previous DOS is 122-2022. Ethan, can I put you on hold to verify it? Emily, take your own time. Thank you, Ethan. And thanks for being on hold. I verified and found this CPT code was paid previously without any auth number. Emily, can you please send this claim back for reprocess with reference to the paid claim? Okay, let me take a note on it and send this claim back for reprocess. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan. I have sent it back for reprocess, and please allow 45 business days for review. Thank you so much, Emily. And what is the claim number? The claim number is 98745. And what is the call reference number? The call reference number is 8578. Thank you so much, Emily. You are very helpful for me today, and you have a nice day. Thanks, Ethan. It's a pleasure talking to you, and you have a good day. Bye. If the rep said hospital claim was received on this date of service, now what would you do? Thank you so much for holding. I really appreciate your patience. Emily, upon checking, I cannot find any authorization number in my system. Can you please check whether any hospital claim was received on this date of service? Let me find that, Ethan. Okay. Ethan, I found one hospital claim on this date of service. Okay, Emily. Could you please check any authorization number in that hospital claim? Yes, Ethan. I found an authorization number in this hospital claim. May I have that authorization number for my documentation purpose? Yes, it is A0056898. Thank you. And could you please send this claim back for reprocess with this authorization number? Ethan, I can send, but I am not guaranteed whether your claim will be payable or not. Emily, that's not a problem. You can send it. Okay, let me take a note on it and send this claim back for reprocess. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan. I have sent it back for reprocess and please allow 45 business days for review. Thank you so much, Emily. And what is the claim number? The claim number is 98745. And what is the call reference number? The call reference number is 8578. Thank you so much, Emily. You are very helpful for me today and you have a nice day. Thanks, Ethan. It's a pleasure talking to you and you have a good day. Bye. For more detailed understanding of all other denial scenarios and action, calling notes format, medical billing terminologies, a, our calling mock calls, etc., please check our web portal.
www.medicalbillingdoubts.com. Please check the categories folder in our web portal. Kindly support us.